Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on Monday the 18th of October and today we're commemorating Saint Luke the Evangelist and I just have a little bit of information to read out about Saint Luke because I think it's quite interesting. So uh, this is from the Independent Catholic News Luke, evangelist, patron of artists and doctors, and all we know Saint Luke comes from the New Testament. He was a Greek physician and accompanied Saint Paul on some of his missionary journeys. According to tradition, he was one of the founder members of the community at Antioch. And it's in Luke's Gospels that we find much of the account of the virgin birth of Christ and some of the most moving parables, including the prodigal son and the good Samaritan. And they also include the words of Jesus at the Passion to the women of Jerusalem and the good thief. So all these elements underline the compassion of Christ, which together with Luke's emphasis on poverty, prayer and purity of heart, make up much of his specific appeal to the Gentiles. Women also feature more highly in Luke's gospel than in any others. And then, of course, Luke also wrote the Acts of the Apostles. And he's said to have been an artist and an icon is said to have been painted by him uh, in a church in Poland. So Saint Luke, who we remember today. Let us pray. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all, to you be glory and praise forever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in these last days you've spoken to us. In your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts. Your Spirit ever renew our lives and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. <coughs> A song of God's compassion. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger forever. He's not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he set our sins from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so is the Lord merciful towards those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. Our days are but as grass. We flourish as a flower of the field. <clears throat> For as soon as the wind goes over it, it is gone. And its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord is from of old and endures forever on those who fear him. And his righteousness on children's children. On those who keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. <coughs> the night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 145. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. I will exhort you, O God, my King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. 
His greatness is beyond all searching out. One generation shall praise your works to another and declare your mighty acts. They shall speak of the majesty of your glory and I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. They shall speak of the might of your marvellous acts and I will also tell of your greatness. They shall pour forth the story of your abundant kindness and joyfully sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, long-suffering and of great goodness. The Lord is loving to everyone and his mercy is over all his creatures. All your works praise you, O Lord, and your faithful servants bless you. They tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your mighty power to make known to all people your mighty acts and the glorious splendour of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Your dominion endures throughout all ages. The Lord is sure in all his words and faithful in all his deeds. The Lord upholds all those who fall and lifts up all those who are bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon you, O Lord, and you give them their food in due season. You open wide your hand and fill all things living with plenty. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and loving in all his works. The Lord is near to those who call upon him, to all who call upon him faithfully. He fulfills the desire of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord watches over those who love him, but all the wicked shall he destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord, and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. First reading is from Isaiah, chapter 55. Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters, and you that have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk, without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labour for that which does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me. Listen so that you may live. I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. See, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and a commander for the peoples. See, you shall call nations that you do not know, and nations that do not know you shall run to you because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their way and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return to the Lord, that he may have mercy on them. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return there until they've watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so that my word may be that so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. For you shall go out in joy and be led back in peace <coughs> and the mountains and the hills before you shall burst into song <coughs> and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress. Instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle, and it shall be to the Lord for a memorial, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. 
here ends the first reading. The Lord has anointed me and sent me to bring good news to the oppressed. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour, to comfort all who mourn, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit, that they may be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. For as the earth puts forth her blossom and her seeds in the garden spring up, so shall the Lord make righteousness and praise blossom before all the nations. You shall be called priests of the Lord. They shall speak of you as ministers of your God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. <clears throat> Amen. <coughs> the Lord has anointed me and sent me to bring good news to the oppressed. The second reading is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, beginning to read at verse 1. Since many have undertaken to set down an orderly account of the events that have been fulfilled among us, just as they were handed on to us by those who, from the beginning, were eyewitnesses and servants of the word, I too decided, after investigating everything carefully from the very first, to write and order the account for you, most excellent Theophilus, so that you may know the truth concerning the things about which you have been instructed. Here ends the second reading. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. The Benedictus. We bring you the good news that what God promised to the fathers, he has fulfilled to us their children by raising Jesus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who's come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called a prophet of the Most High, for you'll go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. We bring you the good news that what God promised to the fathers, he has fulfilled to us, their children, by raising Jesus. <clears throat> Let us pray. And as we pray for our tasks for this day, for this week, for all that lies ahead, 
we ask, Lord, that you will be with us to guide us. We ask, Lord, that you will help us to trust you with all our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the needs of the world. We pray for those who have died. We're thinking especially of those who've died because of their work. And especially Sir David Amos. We pray for all MPs, all people who are reeling from the shock of his terrible death. <clears throat> And we think of the plans to make politicians safe. And we ask, Lord, as we heard on Thought for the Day, that we will be more merciful to each other in our relations. So rather than difference causing division, it will be celebrated that we may be merciful to each other for whatever our differences. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for those who have been affected by the floods in Kerala, especially for those who've lost, lost their lives and their families, and for all who live in fear in that place. And Lord, we ask that we will take care of our planet that some of these events caused by climate change may be reduced, <clears throat> that we will care for the whole world by caring for our planet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for peace in the world. We think of those people who are in any way, suffering because of bad relationships. And so we pray for peace in all relationships. We pray for peace for those people living in countries where there is oppression and violence. We thank you, Lord, for the agencies who seek to bring peace and justice and ask you to strengthen them and those who work for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for the church. We thank you, Lord, for the many people who entered the doors of our church yesterday. Lord, we pray and trust that they met you in there and that they continue to have you alongside them today in whatever they're doing. And so we pray for the newlyweds. We pray for the newly baptised. We pray for the new family who joined us for worship yesterday. We pray for each person in this parish that you will be beside them, that you will meet their needs today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the schools of our parish, especially those suffering from outbreaks of COVID. Lord, we ask you to support all of the teachers, parents and staff. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for the ongoing process to find a new parish priest for our parish, for all involved in the planning and decision making, that your spirit may inspire and bless all of the work and thinking that needs to continue to go on. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And let us pray 
for our parish. A prayer for our parish. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our parish, for all that has been, for all that is now and for all that is to come. Bless and guide all that we do now and in the future as we seek to serve you as the body of Christ in this place and share your love for all. Amen. In a moment of silence now, may we bring before God prayers for our own concerns, those issues that may be on our minds this day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Now the collect for today for St. Luke. Almighty God, you called Luke the physician whose praise is in the gospel to be an evangelist and physician of the soul by the grace of the spirit and through the wholesome medicine of the gospel. Give your church the same love and power to heal through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.